Chanak, Enoch, 89. Then one of those four went to the white cows and taught them a mystery. While the white cow was trembling, it was born and became a man and fabricated for himself a large ship. In this he dwelt, and three cows dwelt with him in that ship, which covered them. Again I lifted up my eyes towards heaven, and saw a lofty roof. Above it were seven cataracts, which poured forth on a certain village much water. Again I looked, and behold, there were fountains open on the earth in that large village. The water began to boil up and rose over the earth, so that the village was not seen, while its whole soil was covered with water. Much water was over it, darkness and clouds. Then I surveyed the height of this water, and it was elevated above the village. It flowed over the village and stood higher than the earth. Then all the cows which were collected there, while I looked on them, were drowned, swallowed up, and destroyed in the water. But the ship floated above it, all the cows, the elephants, the camels, and the asses were drowned on the earth, and all cattle, nor could I perceive them. Neither were they able to get out, but perished, and sunk into the deep. Again I looked in the vision until those cataracts from that lofty roof were removed, and the fountains of the earth became equalized, while other depths were opened, into which the water began to descend, until the dry ground appeared. The ship remained on the earth. The darkness receded, and it became light. Then the white cow, which became a man, went out of the ship, and the three cows with him. One of the three cows was white, resembling that cow. One of them was red as blood, and one of them was black. And the white cow left them. Then began wild beasts and birds to bring forth, of all these, the different kinds assembled together. Lions, tigers, wolves, dogs, wild boars, foxes, rabbits, and the Hanzar. The Siset, the Avest, kites, the Phonkas, and ravens. Then the white cow was born in the midst of them, and they began to bite each other. When the white cow, which was born in the midst of them, brought forth a wild ass and a white cow at the same time, and many wild asses, then the white cow, which was born, brought forth a black wild sow and a white sheep. That wild sow also brought forth many swine, and that sheep brought forth twelve sheep. When those twelve sheep grew up, they delivered one of them to the asses. Again, those asses delivered that sheep to the wolves, and he grew up in the midst of them. Then Yahuwah brought the eleven sheep, that they might dwell and feed with him in the midst of the wolves. They multiplied, 
and there was abundance of pasture for them. But the wolves began to frighten and oppress them while they destroyed their young ones, and they left their young in torrents of deep water. Now, the sheep began to cry out on account of their young and fled for refuge to their Adonai. One, however, which was saved, escaped, and went away to the wild asses. I beheld the sheep moaning, crying, and petitioning their Adonai with all their might, until Yahuwah of the sheep descended at their voice from lofty habitation, went to them and inspected them. He called to that sheep which had secretly stolen away from the wolves and told him to make the wolves understand that they were not to touch the sheep. Then that sheep went to the wolves with the word of Yahuwah when another met him and proceeded with him. Both of them together entered the dwelling of the wolves and conversing with them made them understand that henceforward they were not to touch the sheep. Afterwards, I perceived the wolves greatly prevailing over the sheep with their whole force. The sheep cried out, and their Adonai came to them. He began to strike the wolves, who commenced a grievous lamentation. But the sheep were silent, nor from that time did they cry out. I then looked at them until they departed from the wolves. The eyes of the wolves were blind, who went out and followed them with all their might. But Yahuwah of the sheep proceeded with them and conducted them, and his sheep followed him. Rather, all his sheep followed him. His countenance, terrific and splendid and glorious, was his aspect. Yet the wolves began to follow the sheep until they overtook them in a certain lake of water. Then that lake became divided the water standing up on both sides before their face. And while their Adonai was conducting them, he placed himself between them and the wolves. The wolves, however, perceived not the sheep, but went into the midst of the lake, following them and running after them into the lake of water. But when they saw Yahuwah of the sheep, they turned to fly from before his face. Then the water of the lake returned, and that suddenly, according to its nature, it became full and was raised up until it covered the wolves. And I saw that all of them which had followed the sheep perished and were drowned. But... The sheep passed over this water, proceeding to a wilderness which was without both water and grass, and they began to open their eyes and to see. Then I beheld Yahuwah of the sheep inspecting them and giving them water and grass. The sheep was proceeding and conducting them, and when he had ascended to the top, of the lofty rock, Yahuwah of the sheep sent him to them. Afterwards, I perceived their Adonai standing before them with an aspect 
terrific and severe. And when they all beheld him, they were frightened at his countenance. All of them were alarmed and trembled. They cried out after that sheep and to the other sheep who had been with him and who was in the midst of them, saying, We are not able to stand before our Adonai or to look upon him. Then that sheep who conducted them went away and ascended the top of the rock. When the sheep began to grow blind and to wander from the path which he had shown them, but he knew it not. Their Adonai, however, was moved with great indignation against them, and when that sheep had learned, he descended from the top of the rock and, coming to them, found that there were many which had become blind and had wandered from his path. As soon as they beheld him, they feared and trembled at his presence and became desirous of returning to their fold. Then that sheep, taking with him other sheep, went to those which had wandered and afterwards began to kill them. They were terrified at his countenance. Then he caused those which had wandered to return, who went back to their fold. I likewise saw there in the vision that this sheep became a man, built a house for Yahuwah of the sheep, and made them all stand in the house. I perceived also that the sheep which proceeded to meet this sheep, their conductor, died I saw, too, that all the great sheep perished, while smaller, one, smaller ones rose up in their place, entered into a pasture, and approached a river of water. Then that sheep, their conductor, who became a man, was separated from them and died. All the sheep sought after him and cried for him with bitter lamentation. I saw likewise that they ceased to cry after that sheep and passed over the river of water and that there arose other sheep, all of whom conducted them instead of those who were dead and who had conducted them. Then I saw that the sheep entered into a goodly place and a territory delectable and glorious. I also saw that they became satiated, that their house was in the midst of a delectable territory, and that sometimes their eyes were opened, and that sometimes they were blind, until another sheep arose and conducted them. He brought them all back, and their eyes were opened. Then dogs, foxes, and wild boars began to devour them until another sheep arose, the master of the flock, one of themselves, a ram, to conduct them. This ram began to butt on every side those dogs, foxes, and wild boars until they all perished. With his eyes, he saw the ram in the midst of them who had laid aside his glory and he began to strike the sheep, treading upon them and behaving himself without dignity. Then their Adonai sent a sheep to a still different sheep and raised him up to be a ram and to conduct them instead of that sheep who had laid aside his glory. Going therefore to him and conversing with him alone, he raised up that ram and made him a prince and leader of the flock. All the time that the dogs troubled the sheep, the first ram paid respect to this latter ram. Then 
the latter ram arose and fled away from before his face. And I saw that those dogs caused the first ram to fall. But the latter ram arose and conducted the smaller sheep. That ram likewise begat many sheep and died. Then there was a smaller sheep, a ram instead of him, which became a prince and leader, conducting the flock. And the sheep increased in size and multiplied. And all the dogs, foxes, and wild boars feared and fled away from him. That ram also struck and killed all the wild beasts, so that they could not again prevail in the midst of the sheep, nor at any time ever snatch them away. And that house was made large and wide, a lofty tower being built upon it by the sheep, for Yahuwah of the sheep. The house was low, but the tower was elevated and very high. Then Yahuwah of the sheep stood upon that tower and caused a full table to approach before him. Again, I saw that those sheep wandered and went various ways, forsaking that their house, and that their Adonai called to some among them whom he sent to them. But these the sheep began to kill, and when one of them was saved from slaughter, he leaped and cried out against those who were desirous of killing him. But Yahuwah of the sheep delivered him from their hands and made him ascend to him and remain with him. He sent also many others to them to testify and with lamentations to exclaim against them. Again, I saw when some of them forsook the house of their Adonai and his tower, wandering on all sides and growing blind, I saw that Yahuwah of the sheep made a great slaughter among them in their pasture until they cried out to him in consequence of that slaughter. Then he departed from the place and left them in the power of the lions, tigers, wolves, and the hyenas, and in the power of foxes and of every beast. And the wild beasts began to tear them. I saw, too, that he forsook the house of their fathers and their tower, giving them all into the power of lions to tear and devour them into the power of every beast. Then I began to cry out with all my might, imploring Yahuwah of the sheep and showing him how the sheep were devoured by all the beasts of prey. But he looked on in silence, rejoicing that they were devoured, swallowed up and carried off, and leaving them in the power of every beast for food. He called also seventy shepherds and resigned to them the sheep that they might overlook them, saying to them and to their associates, Every one of you henceforward overlook the sheep, and whatsoever I command you, do, and I will deliver them to you, numbered. I will tell you which of them shall be slain. These destroy. And he delivered the sheep to them. Then he called to another and said, Understand and watch everything which the shepherds shall do to these sheep, for many more of them shall perish than I have commanded. Of every excess and slaughter which the shepherds shall commit, there shall be an account, as how many may have perished by my command, and how many they may have destroyed of their own heads. 
of all the destruction by each of the shepherds, there shall be an account. And according to the number, I will cause a recital to be made before me. How many they have destroyed of their own heads, and how many they have delivered up to destruction, that I may have this testimony against them, that I may know all their proceedings, and that delivering to them, I may see what they will do, whether they will act as I have commanded them or not. However, they shall be ignorant, neither shall you make any explanation to them, neither shall you reprove them, but there shall be an account of all the destruction done by them in their respective seasons. Then they began to kill and destroy more than it was commanded them. And they left the sheep in the power of the lions, so that very many of them were devoured and swallowed up by lions and tigers, and wild boars preyed upon them. That tower they burnt and overthrew that house. Then I grieved extremely on account of the tower, and because the house of the sheep was overthrown, neither was I afterwards able to perceive whether they again entered that house. The shepherds likewise and their associates delivered them to all the wild beasts that they might devour them, each of them in his season, according to his number, was delivered up. Each of them, one with another, was described in a sefer. How many of them, one with another, were destroyed in a sefer? More, however, than was ordered. Everyone killed and destroyed. Then I began to weep and was greatly indignant on account of the sheep. In like manner also I saw in the vision him who wrote, how he wrote down one destroyed by the shepherds every day. He ascended, remained, and exhibited each of his sephirim to Yahuwah of the sheep, all of which, rather, all which they had done, and all with each of them had made away with. And all which they had delivered up to destruction. He took the sefer up in his hands, read it, sealed it, and deposited it. After this, I saw shepherds overlooking for twelve hours. And behold, three of the sheep departed, arrived, went in, and began building all which was fallen down of that house. But the wild boars hindered them, although they prevailed not. Again, they began to build as before, and raised up that tower, which was called a lofty tower. And again, they began to place before the tower a table with every impure and unclean kind of bread upon it. Moreover, also, all the sheep were blind and could not see, as were the shepherds likewise. Thus were they delivered up to the shepherds for a great destruction, who trod them underfoot and devoured them. Yet was their Adonai silent until all the sheep in the field were destroyed. The shepherds and the sheep were all mixed together, but 
They did not save them from the power of the beasts. Then he who wrote the Sefer ascended, exhibited it, and read it at the residence of Yahuwah, of the sheep. He petitioned him for them and prayed, pointing out every act of the shepherds and testifying before him against them all. Then, taking the Sefer, he deposited it with him and departed.